Um, I have no doubt, you have convinced me, I've been listening to you for over a year, I have no doubt that as president, what is currently the law in Massachusetts is not your plan for the country. I want to know what is your plan? What is the right way for the federal government to address the health insurance problem in this country? Yeah, okay, let me tell you some things, and I'll let the doctor weigh in on this too if she'd like to. Um, here's, here's what I'd do. One, I would repeal Obamacare, and then I'd say to the states, the, the states are going to have the responsibility they have today which is states today, but because this bill hasn't gone into complete effect yet, states today have responsibility for the care of those that are uninsured, de de deciding how they're going to deal with that issue. And in some states they have clinics for those that are uninsured. In some states they send folks that aren't insured to the, to the emergency room. In, in my state, uh, in Massachusetts, we, uh, we actually collected a tax which we then used to help hospitals that were giving out free care. And, uh, and it amounted to hundreds of millions of dollars a year giving out free care in hospitals. So we tried to come up with a better, a better model of that. So I would return to the states the responsibility, as they've had in the past, to care for their own uninsured in the way they think best. And the great thing about this federalist idea of states being able to come up with their own solutions is that we'll learn from each other and we'll try different things. That's one advantage. There's another advantage. If you don't like what's happened in your state, you can change it. There's another advantage. What works in Massachusetts probably won't work in New Hampshire or Mississippi because there are differences between different states. In our state, we had roughly 8% of our population uninsured. The, the state, there's another state I know of that has 25% uninsured. So there are big differences between states. And so you try and craft a program that works best for your state. So that's the, that's the second thing. And then finally, there's something else I think well, I, sh I should note that in returning to the states the responsibility for, for caring for uh, our own uninsured, I would return also the federal money known as Medicaid and say to the states, we're going to give you that money that in the past we've, we've doled out to you piece by piece with all sorts of strings attached and mandates as to what you have to do and who you have to cover. We're going to now just give you the money as a block grant. It's yours. You deal with it as you think best to care for your own poor and uninsured. So now the states not only have the responsibility for caring for the uninsured and poor, they have the resources to do it. So that's, that's another element of what I do. And there, let me mention one more, and that is that there is a problem that I think we have to make sure doesn't occur. Because there are problems in our, in, in our um, free market that need to be addressed from time to time with regulation. I, I don't like excessive regulation, but I, I like modern, updated, streamlined regulation that encourages markets to work. I, I heard today about, I was, I was at a uh, diner sitting across from a, a woman, and she said that her, uh, her daughter-in-law had had a stroke at a very young age, I think just in her uh, early 40s, and, uh, and, that the, uh, and, and she was insured, and she'd been insured for a long time. And then after she had a stroke, they put her insurance rate way, way, way up. It's like, well, wait a second. The idea of insurance is to, to, to be there uh, in case you need it, and then if something happens, why they don't jack your rates up or drop your coverage. And, and so this idea of what's called a pre-existing condition or, or where someone gets sick and the insurance company wants to change the deal or drop you, that shouldn't be allowed. So I, for someone who's been continuously insured, has been paying their premiums, we're going to have to make sure the insurance companies can't say, oh, you got sick? We're dropping your coverage. Or, uh, you know, you have a serious chronic condition, we're going to, we're going to kick you off the books. Well, that, that, that certainly can't happen. And, uh, and, and so that's something that I, I think would have to be in, in, included in the way we, we tell our insurance companies, if you want to um, offer a fair product to the American people, you're going to have to make sure that you don't drop people or refuse coverage to those who've been continuously insured in the past. But those are the uh, those are the adjustments that I'd make in returning this program to the states. Thanks, Thank Robert. you very much, and we're going to turn it over to the audience now.